Hello there, Ben Bowers, the Spirit Specialist, and I am here today to talk to you about Spy Tail, uh, a new rum stroke spirit drink. Um, I say new, it was launched in November of 2018, so we're not even 18 months old on this, but this is a relatively new rum brand, even though actually on the label, not sure if you're going to pick it up, it does actually call it a spirit drink. Uh, you might have also noticed the word cognac on there. Uh, and that is because this is um, a uh, rum that is distilled in the Caribbean. It's uh, Trinidad and Guiana, um, but it is then shipped over to France uh, and it's a distillery called La Compagnie Batisphere. Um, apologies for the terrible uh, pronunciation and accent, um, that are based in the cognac region of France. So um, you might notice also the uh, quite distinctive shape bottle, and it's pretty weighty. I'm trying really hard not to drop this. Um, it is based on a batisphere, which is the um, sort of spherical shaped, uh, essentially submarine um, that was used in the early 1900s. It was actually first tested in Bermuda in the Caribbean, um, but it was also tested off the coast of uh, France as well, which is why they've taken that as the inspiration for the bottle. Um, so like I say, these are uh, rums from Trinidad and Guiana. So it'll be the Diamond Distillery in Guiana. There's a couple in Trinidad that it could be from. Uh, it's taken over to France and then there are actually two bottlings available uh, through the Spirit Specialist that I have on stock. Um, we have a, a cognac finished, so basically the, the two rums are married in a cognac casks um, to, to give it an extra dimension. Uh, and then I'll be doing a separate video on this. Uh, they also do a ginger version as well. So um, ginger, uh, root ginger and other spices are added. So keep an eye out for the video that will be coming up fairly soon of when I try this. But first let's concentrate on just the cognac version. Hello, just me interrupting myself. Um, so after doing the video, I uh, had another look online to see if I could garner any further information about Spytail Rum because there's not that much detail about it. Um, and I ended up getting some nuggets from the uh, design company that actually designed the bottle. Um, and it was going on about the inspiration that they used for the bottle and the batisphere and all this lot. So it turns out that um, the distillery is on the banks of the Charente River um, in the Cognac region, which then goes through to um, the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, yes, I did have to try and remember what ocean it is. So uh, the Charente River is actually referenced in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, the novel by Jules Verne. And uh, one of the guys, if not the guy, that actually invented the batisphere uh, is a gentleman called William Beebe, who is uh, inspired by that very novel to actually design um, the batisphere uh, shape and model. So uh, everything's kind of tying in. And if you look closely at the bottle, you might be able to see it on the video on the embossed um, uh, lettering and numbers that's there. There's actually a set of coordinates. Um, now, I know one of them's degrees, but I can't remember what the others are, but it's latitude, longitude, 49, 54, 50 north, 21701 east. Now, if you put those coordinates into something like Google Maps or anywhere that's gonna tell you where it is, it comes up with an address in Amiens in France, and it turns out that that is actually a cemetery which is the last resting place of Jules Verne. So everything ties in. Really nice, cool little nugget. It's telling a story, everything links in with the design of the bottle and everything that's going on. So again, it's something cool that is part of this package, which I think is really awesome. So back to the review video. Right then, so let's see if we can give you an indication of what we're looking at. So it looks like it's a metal cap, but it is actually plastic, but it's still pretty weighty. And to be honest, the bottle weighs a bloody ton. It really is a chunky bottle. Now you might see from the top, it is quite a wide mouth as well. If you're a bartender or if you have a home bar, cocktail bar, and you're using pourers, pourers are just gonna go straight down the middle of that unless you've got a specially adapted wide one. It's, it's also quite a thick uh, neck as well. So it's actually a little bit, you know, I've just dribbled it down the side. It's a little bit awkward to pour as well. Hmm, tastes good though. So let's have a look once I get that down without banging it down. So nose, Quite sweet, actually surprisingly so. Sweeter than I was expecting. Now the label, even though it says it's the Spytel Rum Company, this says it's a spirit drink finished in cognac casks, not a rum. Now it's bottled at 40%, so I'm wondering why they're calling it spirit drink, what they've added to it to not necessarily call it rum. It might be that it's got an excessive amount of sugar solution to sweeten it down because on the nose, it really is quite sweet. It does have a cognac -y thread going through it though. But there is, it reminds me quite a lot of sugared almonds. Um, you know, that sort of like slightly sweet nuttiness that you get from the almonds, but then that sweetness of the icing that's around it. 
foam bananas as well I'm getting on there. This is a real kind of like sweet shop type feel. But there is that kind of slightly cognac-y alcohol note coming through as well. Palette. The sweetness really continues. This is a very sweet drink. Not liqueur sweet, but getting that way. Like I say, bottle at 40%, but there is a, again, sugared almonds, foam bananas. Sugary sweetness is coming through, but it's a slightly floral sugary sweetness. It is pleasant, but I can imagine this is probably gonna to be too sweet for some people. If you like a sweet rum, if you like a flavored rum, if you like spiced rum, if you like liqueurs, I think you're gonna like this. If you're looking for rums with a bit more oomph and the depth and complexity that the likes of Agricole rum or complicated, complex kind of dark rums, gold rums, that is not what spi this Spytale is doing. This is a almost a halfway house between a spiced and a straight rum. It really is. Uh, like I say, for some people it's probably gonna be too sweet. I think it's really, really nice, but I tend to err on the sweeter side anyway, to be perfectly honest. I think it might get a little bit overpowered in cocktails. Um, if you're putting some heavy, if you're making a rum-based cocktail and you want the rum to come to the forefront, if you're adding other flavors to this, there's not quite the intensity of flavors that is gonna get back through, fight through all those other flavors you might be putting in it. However, if you've got a cocktail which requires rum and simple syrup, cinnamon, nutmeg, that sort of thing, because those types of sweet spice flavors are in there, that would work as an alternative if you don't have them. Or if you've got a, a cocktail that's rum and cognac together, a double measure of this, and I think you'd be absolutely fine. I really like this. It's really, really easy to drink, dangerously easy to drink. And you know, please do drink responsibly. But this is ticking a lot of boxes for me. And I'm very happy to finish the glass. I think it might be lacking some body for some people, and I think it might be too sweet for others. But I'm happy that it's not a case of it looks great on the outside and it's actually not a lot on the inside. I think this is really good. I'm very happy to sell it. It is available through the website, www.spiritspecialist.com. We do offer nationwide delivery to the UK. Europe's a bit of a tricky situation at the moment. US is basically out. Or come and visit the store in uh, Howden in East Yorkshire and I'd be more than happy to serve you. Uh, like I say, at the type of, uh, time of recording, it is £30.99 a bottle. But if I can get this on a deal and get it a bit cheaper, or if they start putting the prices up because of Brexit, because they're based in France, then we shall see. Um, oh, I completely forgot to mention. So this is actually from, uh, if you go onto the Spytel website, there is not a lot of uh, information about it at all. But this is from a, a company called Bigger and Leith, who are a, a, a drinks, distributor and um, kind of brand management company based in New York, um, but this is made in France in the Cognac region. The company is called La Compagnie Baptiste Fier, um, which I think I've already told you that, so ignore that bit. Um, but yes, highly recommended, and um, hopefully I shall see you in the shop or see you online to be able to sell you a bottle of this. Cheers. Cheers.